Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Balan Brands, and today I'm gonna to show you how to manage tags in Keep. Now, tags is one of the most functional types of features that we have here in Keep. We add them to specific contacts, and they can either help us segment lists, or they could also launch, create campaigns, start or stop certain functions. So tags is a very critical element into how we utilize this particular platform. Now there's a couple different ways to add tags. We can actually go here under the Keep menu under CRM settings and click on tags here on the left hand side and basically get a list of all the tags that we have in this system. Now uh, what it does is shows us also how many people are attached to those particular tags. So I could actually click on this number and see all the contacts that have that particular tag. So it's very useful for us to be able to easily um, navigate and see what we have. Now, if I want to add tags, I can simply click add tag and I'm actually even able to do multiple tags by separating with commas. So let's say I decide I wanna do a new strategy um, for lead management and I wanna do maybe cold, warm, hot leads. So I can literally type in cold, warm, hot, for example. And I can choose a category if I'm using categories to a specific, uh, to a specific degree, which is great if we like to be super organized, we can do that. Um, or you don't have to choose a category at all. You can also give it a description. So we could just call this kind of general, like, you know, lead, uh, lead potential or something like that. So if I click add tags, you will see they now exist, hot, warm, cold, right? So that's one way for us to actually add tags. I can also delete tags from here, of course. Um, this one's just a test that we had, so I can just delete the tag. I don't have anybody attached to it. It's saying it's used in a particular action, so that might have been like a campaign that I had set up. So it gives us that little warning, uh, which is nice, but I'll just go ahead and delete that, and now it's gone. And really, if I see you know a lot of different tags here that don't have anybody attached to it, then again, maybe we're not using it uh, to its you know potential or in that specific thing. So I can clean it up. It's pretty easy for me to manage that. Okay, so that's one way. I can add tags, I can delete tags. There's also a way to import tags. Uh, we won't get into that in this particular video. So now using tags is, like I mentioned, is going to be on contacts or specific to actual contacts in the system. So let's say, for example, we've got a test here and I can hover over here, all these different options. I can click on notes, right? I can see their notes, tasks, appointments, things like that. Um, but I can simply click here on tags and I can see what tags are attached to this particular contact. So in this case, we've launched a birthday campaign as an example. Um, that's the only tag that's applied in this particular case, okay? So I wanna go ahead and apply more tags to this person. I wanna identify them as a cold lead. So you'll notice if I start to type in cold, it's a predictive search. So it'll pull up anything that matches that particular description. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit cold, uh, select that, and then I can apply. So that's it, it's that simple, right? We're just applying a tag makes it really easy. Now, the other thing I love about this is maybe we're going to um, use something else like get birthday, right? Maybe another tag because we don't have their birthday, we've somehow identified that. And so I wanna add another tag for me to be able to go in and see all the people that I need to get a birthday from. So I can actually click get birthday or type that in and you notice nothing came up because it didn't actually match. We don't already have that tag, but I can go ahead and hit create right now and it just created it on the fly for me. So I don't have to go into the settings and go create tags. I can actually create them on the fly as well. So now I just go ahead and apply and you'll see it applied that tag, get birthday. So when I go up here to Tom Smith and I go to tags and I notice I don't have his birthday, I can click apply tags type in get and I'll see you get birthday, right? Just an awesome way, really easy, quick to navigate, um, adding tags, applying tags. I can also simply remove them from here as well. Let's say, oh, I did get his birthday, my bad. I can just click remove. So super simple, really easy way on these particular uh, search results uh, to hover over tags and do that. There's another way also, if I click into Tom Smith, for example, um, this is his full contact record. I've got address and notes and tracking details and all these different things that we've created in here. And you'll see here, this is where the tag. So I can actually click on manage tags 
and it's gonna take me to his actual tag screen. So it only has these tags. I can create a new tag on the fly right here, just like I showed you in other areas. I can also choose from my categories or those who have no categories, I can choose to apply tags that way as well. So a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, my opinion is the most easiest way is, is when I just go to contacts, I click on tags and I hit apply tags. It's a super simple way to do that. Like I said, I can delete them from here. I can add them from here. Um, pretty straightforward, kind of hard to, hard to beat that, very easy. Now, if you're in the, this is the Keep Max Classic. If you're in the newer Keep interface, it's actually the same process, but just in a different location. So um, all of your system settings are over here under your actual icon. Um, in this case, it's a J because my name is Jeff, so it shows up as a J as my icon. When I click on that, I can click on settings. Okay, so that is where we pull up a lot of the actual account specific things, uh, system wide things. So you'll see tags is an actual option here. So I can click on tags. We'll see a list of all the tags. And again, I can simply add a tag, give it a name, category, right? If I wanna choose that and description, and I can save it that way. Or just like I can in Keep, I can pull up, a, uh, in our Keep Max Classic, I can pull up a contact, click on tags, I can add new or an existing tag. So again, if I'm doing cold leads and I don't have that particular tag or get birthday, whichever one I want here as an example, then I can just go ahead and add it on the fly. I can give it a category and so forth. But when I hit save, it puts it pops it in there. And uh, notice too, I can add more. I can actually add three or four different tags at the same time if I want to. So another really great way, I can click on manage all tags. If I wanna go look at other tags, it'll take me off to that screen. But in this case, I wanna go ahead and add the tag to myself and I now see it in there. Okay, so um, again, super easy ways to manage tags, add tags, delete tags from a particular uh, contact. I can click on tags here and just remove it right away. So interface is a little different, but the process and function still exactly the same. So if you have any questions on that, by all means, you can reach out to us at team at